Okay, as promised, uh, the uh, uh, civil law legal systems. And again, um, you know, this is, this is not civil or tort law. This is a civil law legal system. And the differences uh, between civil law legal systems and common law legal systems. So, um, most, as a matter of fact, as I said, you know, common law is not that common. Most of the countries in the world will have civil law legal systems. And as a matter of fact, um, when we talk about uh, traditional law legal systems and religious law legal systems, eventually you will find that most of the legal systems that are uh, uh, traditional-based or uh, religious-based will, over time, evolve into uh, civil law legal systems. Now, uh, the joke about Louisiana, and, you know, there's no fraud because nothing is against the law, um, is, it turns on the fact that in uh, civil law legal systems... It's not a crime unless there is a law specifically against it. Under common law legal systems, um, there's the charter protections, but there is there are also um, uh, sort of general principles that uh, even if you don't have a law against murder as such in a common law legal system, it, the principles in the charter document are still going to probably outline uh, the uh, the principle that someone has the right to life, uh, uh, they have uh, the right to their property, they have the right to enjoyment, uh, those types of things, and and therefore it is wrong to deprive someone of their life. So if you kill somebody, even if there's not a law against it, under a common law legal system it's still a crime uh, under a civil law legal system if you don't have a law against murder it's not a crime it's not even illegal you have to have a law against it uh, when um, computer crime first started to become an issue and, and we had um, people uh, writing viruses, for example, breaking into computer systems. Um, we didn't have specific laws about that. Nobody had specific laws about uh, breaking into computers, about uh, having, um, uh, you know, writing uh, uh, programs that would do something wrong to somebody else's computer. But common law legal systems, we had uh, laws and, or at least principles, about trespass. Um, we had laws, or at least principles, about uh, privacy and, in a sense, stealing information or copying information without permission. And therefore, um, under common law legal systems, uh, people were able to start mounting prosecutions based on what people had done, even though there were no specific laws saying, no, you can't break into somebody else's computer. But when uh, the, I think, was it Melissa or I love you? I think it was Melissa. And uh, the guy who wrote it, um, uh, they, they caught him fairly quickly. Uh, you know, it's the, the evidence is there. He did it, uh, hauled him into court, and the case immediately fell apart because the judge said, okay, what are you going to charge him with? What he did is not illegal under law in the Philippines. And so they had to let him go. It wasn't illegal. It, you know, there, there was no law against it. That's a civil law legal system. That is the way the civil law legal system works. So... Um, you know, that, that is one of the, the big uh, things. Now, um, 
the uh, yeah we so we do we deal with that and we've got the people who were uh, you know doing things that that there isn't a specific law against and civil law can't do anything about it common law can um, what else in in terms of the differences um, huh, well yeah that's that's the big one um, and as I say you know you you have to know um, if somebody you know based in another country is uh, making an attack on your system or writing malware uh, that does something to your system that you don't like uh, all of this uh, and and your ability to uh, charge extradite whatever uh, this person is is based on is it illegal in that country uh, so uh, I suppose then we still got time to to go on with um, uh, traditional law legal systems. Um, now, uh, traditional law legal systems, of course, uh, based on the um, the traditions of the culture. Um, if uh, uh, there is one dominant culture um, in uh, an area which becomes a country and um, you know they are going to base uh, usually their their laws on basically the way they have always done things um, but as I say uh, very often over time you will find that uh, they start to realize that uh, the law um, the you know traditional ways of dealing with things um, do not address uh, certain problems, uh, certain issues, and, and therefore um, they devolve over time to um, more something that is more akin to a civil law legal system. Um, so you, you will, when you're dealing with traditional uh, law legal systems, uh, often find yourself in this uh, evolving phase um, and it's sort of a, a mix a hybrid of the traditional and the civil and the other uh, one of course is the um, the religious law legal system now um, we tend to think that like common law the religious law legal systems are based on the religious charter document um, the uh, uh, it's not just Islamic, you know, uh, when you say religious law, people tend to think of Islamic law, Sharia law, but um, Ireland, um, in uh, the early uh, part of the 20th century, uh, certainly around the 1950s, the church had a uh, particularly strong standing that they were an important part of the government and particularly the legal system, the educational system, um, and uh, the social systems of the country. Um, that tends to be the reality. Whether uh, whether it's a formal, uh, formally recognized or not, the religious law legal systems it's it's not so much the the religious charter document and the religious law as written down but the um the position of the clergy that they are the lawyers the judges um that they have uh, a special place a special authority um and in fact, in some of the Islamic countries, um, in Afghanistan and Taliban in particular, it's uh, some of the laws that they have put in place, are, you, you will not find those in the Quran. Um, it is, in fact, the, uh, the clergy have decided these, uh, these new rules that that we have created that are not in the religious document are uh, more important. 
And so it is the position of the clergy rather than the, the religious document. So just, you know, be aware of that.